Hey everyone, it's Erica. I have a process video for you today using the November hip kits and I'm going to be focusing on the background die. Um, I'm going to use this in my layout along with the November kit. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I, I'm going to start out by cutting this out um, a bunch of times using the cardstock from the cardstock kit. I'm just going to use the snowdrop cardstock and punch it out. Um, I think I'm going to punch it out. I'm just going to punch it out a whole bunch of times. Um, and I think I'm going to punch some shapes out of out of it. So I'm going to start out by just cutting this out using both of these cardstocks and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have die cut the background die with the white cardstock and I'm going to take my circle punches and just punch out a bunch of circles and just in different sizes. I'm not exactly sure what my plan is, but um, here are just a couple that I did. I'm just going to put these on a background just to add some texture, but they punch really nice. And I'm going to punch out all of these and then figure out what I want to do. I know I want to place them on the layout just to have something in the background. And this will add some nice texture. So once I get these all punched out and then decide on a background, I'll come back and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so I'm going to start out by adding a layer behind each of the photos using the Pocket Life cards. Um, I pulled in some red and some pink just to help bring out the red in the photos. And I'm going to trim them down and then get them stuck down to the layout. You can see my background there. I have all of the, um, some of the circles like adhere down to the layout, but I knew that a lot of it was going to get covered up by photos and embellishments. So I left some open space there on the background so that I could do the photos and the embellishments. And then I'll go in and kind of fill in some of that big open space up at the top right um, there will be spots like around the edges that aren't going to be filled in i left some of those open um, and you'll see everything in the finish the finished photos but i just love the way that it turned out it was so much fun to create um, i have these little labels here i cut it in half and um, tucked one in at the top and one at the bottom i will end up moving the one at the top over to the right a little bit more because i end up putting a like a greenery st sticker popped up at the top um, I have this little circle label that I pulled out from the cardstock stickers. Gonna add one to the top and the bottom, and then I end up pulling the one at the bottom off because it's gonna get covered up by the title. Um, I had no idea what I was going to do when I went in creating this layout. I really didn't have an idea, um, but I just knew that I wanted to punch out the dies and use the die on the layout. And then once I got going, I thought about having um, punching out the the background die with circle punches and then everything else just kind of came together so i'm um, just pulling in different embellishments i have some of the uh, floral die cuts that are from the embellishment kit i have cut some of those in half and added them to the right and the left of the photo added some greenery um, i have a christmas tree to the left from the die cuts and then also a puffy christmas tree from the puffy sticker sheet getting everything stuck down with some uh, wet adhesive. And then I also have some things popped up on foam adhesive just to give them uh, more dimension. A lot of the florals I like to cut in half. That way I can use half of it on the right side and half of it on the left. Um, it just kind of helps spread out the florals and helps them last longer um, if you cut them in half. Because if you just use a full floral and stick it behind something, half of it isn't going to be shown anyway. So you might as well cut it in half and use it somewhere else. Um, I like to bend up the edges on uh, my leaves and florals as well, just to give them a little bit of life. That way they're not so flat on the page. So you'll see me doing that with the embellishments and with the star stickers as well. I have this red star here and I did the, like bend up the ends of that as well. Got that stuck down. 
Um, I wanted to make sure that I brought in lots of red just to help bring out the photos. And then for the title, I have this Merry Christmas die cut that's super cute. And it had some greens in it. Um, so I thought that would go great for uh, with the layout. Here is that label that I'm going to move over just a little bit because I do want to add some greenery to the top of the photos. And in the greenery, there is like a yellow bow. So I do bring in some more of that yellow color to the layout as well by adding some puffy stickers. I have two puffy stars and then I have a fray sticker that says, oh, what fun that I will add on top of the puffy tree that is to the left of the photos. Um, I did pull in the Santa. I thought he was super cute. He's from the cardstock stickers. He is holding like a bag full of toys, but I do cut off that bag full of toys and cut off his hand. Um, just so that I could, he wasn't fitting in because I had like foam adhesive on that side. So I just cut that off because you weren't going to see it anyway and um, tucked him in right there. He's popped up on some foam adhesive as well. Adding some of these gorgeous florals down here under the Merry Christmas title. I do end up cutting these in half um, just to give them a straight edge so they would fit better underneath that title. Because they were butting up right against the foam adhesive. So just cutting them in half and giving them straight edge helped them fit under there perfectly. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and fill up this top corner with the rest of these circles. And um, I just have a whole bunch of them punched out. I love the way that this turned out. It's just another fun way to use that background die. Um, there's so many ways that you can you use this die, um, use it as a background on a card or um, punch it out and place it behind your layers for your photos. Um, but I thought that I would cut it out a bunch of times with the cardstock kit paper and then um, just punch it out with some circles. And I just love the look of it. And it just like dresses up this plain cardstock background. I do go in in a little bit and I'm going to add some splatter to the background as well and I just use some silver mist from my stash and then some white acrylic paint that I watered down and I just absolutely love the way that it turned out it was a lot of fun um, I thought about also taking these circles that I punched out and maybe turning them like into ornaments I thought that would be really cool as well or even punching them out and then kind of punching out some colored cardstock and placing the white on top of the colored cardstock, I thought that would be another idea that you could use this um, die for. So I'm going to use some of the puffy uh, trees and adhere them to the right of the photo since I have one on the left. I thought I'd bring in some more trees to the right, just kind of fill out that little cluster that I have going on. Adding these um, yellow hearts. Um, I add in some of the puffy peppermint candies. I add three of them around the layout. They're just tucked in to the embellishment clusters and you'll see them in the still shots. It's kind of hard to see them on the video, but you'll see them in the still shots. And um, the last thing I do is just add the splatter. And that finishes up the layout. It came together really quickly once I had everything uh, die cut and punched out. Um, and I kind of finally figured out what I wanted to do. Um, it came together really quick. Having the kits and everything coordinates together, it's really easy to put together a layout. I will make sure that I leave everything linked down below for you guys so you can check it out. This kit is absolutely gorgeous. Every month, they knock it out of the park, and it just makes me so happy to create with these products because they're one of a kind. Can't get them anywhere else, and it's just, just gorgeous. I can't say enough about these kits. I absolutely love them, and there's nothing else like them out there. On the market right now so uh, make sure you head on over there and check them out if you have not seen the december kit reveal you guys it's absolutely gorgeous again another amazing kit i believe it's all exclusive i think um pretty sure but it's it's just another gorgeous kit so head on over there check them out if you haven't subscribed yet I highly recommend doing that. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this process video and I hope it gave you another idea on how to use the Hip Kit Club background die. I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.